What's good guys and we're back again. By the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you a sport that you didn't even know existed. Oh yeah, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been into the Dark Ages, medieval times, knights in armor, going off to battle. I've always loved those movies and shows, and I'm a huge Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, and Song of Ice and Fire fan. And in the lead up to the new show, House of the Dragon, I randomly googled how to learn sword fighting, and I stumbled upon Gladiators NYC. And these were real guys in medieval armor battling. This was not cosplay. This was not people pretending. They were in steel armor with steel blunted weapons going at one another. And once I saw that on Instagram, I knew I had to somehow be a part of this. So my day started as normal, putting together my pre and post workout. Then I went to the gym. Here's me squatting 225 pounds for 10 reps. Pretty impressive, right? Sire, so we're near Central Park. Do you still have a clue and idea what we're going to do? No. Nope. Andrew, that's not All right. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out here. And uh, we got some company. The boys, are, the boys are there. You got your man DU Films right there. Like, share, subscribe. All right. And, and, and Jalik the Meek. Yeah. Yeah, you guys remember this stuff from the last video, huh? As soon as I got to the location, I saw a couple of guys practicing sword fighting, and I thought the best thing to do was to speak to a couple of the local guys and just get a better understanding of what to expect. Damon, so what's your part in all this? So my part is I'm almost like an independent guy. I found them one day. I okay. went to the park and said, this is fantastic. Yeah. I'm Spanish. <laughs> I'm from Spain. We oh. had a Middle Ages there. Oh, okay, okay. I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This was actually my background when college times, the way to get my money was hustling dressed. Oh, a little okay. bit like this, even, even, yeah, yeah, more, even, even more medieval. You even got like the yes. cast. Oh, right. no, this yeah. is fantastic. With that then I came, I approached them and he's very, uh, he was very open to yeah. people. Okay, no, if, if you can pull it off, just come in. Right. And I've been coming, I don't know, five, six times for the last year. So. Wow. So are you going to play some tunes? Yeah, yeah, so what I'm doing here... So what, what wanna, do you call this instrument uh, This is here. a banduria. Oh, a banduria. It has the rolling R from the Spanish uh, oh, okay. thing. So uh, it is sort of... Uh, the closest thing will be a mandolin. All right. So yeah, once you start jamming out, we'll get a, we'll get so, some footage of you. But what was your name one more time? Miguel. Miguel. All Miguel. right. My Miguel. name is Jesus V. Jesus V. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Gracias. I've always been into like just like medieval fighting. It's always been like my thing. I love those type of movies. So uh, what got you into doing this? Oh well, it started when I was a kid and watched Lord of the Rings. And I'm oh, okay. Like, God, God, I wish that were me. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. Then, like most people, interested in medieval history, done a lot of like martial arts and yeah. like, team sports. And yeah. Found this, and I was like, I could do that. So what? Like, I only found this because I literally googled how to learn sword fighting. How yeah. did you stumble upon? This, like, I started sport. watching like team fights, yeah. was, like, probably like 2012 on like YouTube, stuff like Battle of Nations. Yeah, I just went down like a rabbit hole watching all of I think those. everybody at some point in their life goes down the rabbit hole of watching yeah. this sport on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I didn't think I'd actually be doing it. Um, until I just moved to New York like two years ago and I was like looking for like just clubs in the city and I was like wait they do that weird sport yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so like tell me about the armor where, the, where did you get the armor uh, so I'm borrowing Isaac's team member uh, I don't have anything myself but, uh, yeah, he's just got a, a pretty how much do you think all this weighs uh weighs I think it's like 60 pounds yeah so I mean you kind of got like a kind of half of the fit to like Definitely. It helps if you've done any sort of teams you want or martial arts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I saw some of the videos. I'm going to put some of the footage on the screen. But I've seen some of these. It's brutal. Like, and it's like blunt weapons. Yeah, it's like blunt weapons, right? Yeah, it's So it's still like... it's steel. It's steel. So like... 
And I see how some of these guys are getting hit in the head. Like, do you have any like cushion or protection? Yeah, so or? it's it's historical. This is your armor. Armor? You gotta steal outside that protects you against like anything sharp, and it like it like catches a lot of the concussiveness of it. Yeah. But then you got a really thick take a look. Layer. Let's take a look inside of it. Right? You got a really thick layer of padding underneath that covers you from basically protects you from like concussions wow. and stuff. And this is the same way it was worn in like medieval times. Oh, it was. But, yeah, they had a lot okay. of padding underneath. I got padding underneath the rest of the armor too. That prevents like bruising and like. So the worst injury you've sustained was the one in the hand. Yeah, it just like caught where my armor wasn't covering me. Oh, but, nice. Um, so then, what are you guys gonna do today in terms of fighting? Is it like so one on one? Yeah, or? There's, there's two different uh, events basically. There's duels where you get a point for every clean hit you land. So oh, okay. it's about just like landing more hits than the opponent. It doesn't really matter how hard you hit them. It's kind of like a fencing match. Gotcha. And then there's melees where it's a team fight and you're in the game until you go down to the ground and then you're out. Like uh, you're trying to fatigue the I would other say person? fatigue, damage, and just getting people off balance and taking them down. But um, it definitely, if you hit somebody really hard, especially in like the leg or the hips, yeah. or especially with a longer weapon like a polearm, yeah. they'll generally just like go, right? involuntary take a knee. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you all for coming around here today. This is our monthly exhibition of Gladiators NYC Full Contact Medieval Armor and Combat! Yeah! Okay, yes, this is not choreographed, this is not staged, this is not some kind of Renaissance Fair show. Uh, this is full competition. We don't know who's going to win. Three rounds of one minute each. And we're going to use audience applause to determine the winners. Are you ready? Hunt. like motorsports in where the quality and upkeep of your equipment will materially affect your game and that's why getting armor that fits that's why getting armor that is well articulated getting armor that is light as you can afford to get it all can contribute to how well you can fight
This, what's this melee happening? It's essentially group fighting. So where you're seeing duels with the one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. uh, melees is now 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, 5 on 5. And who picks the teams? Uh, usually captains. Uh, uh, it's a good way to start having people to train on like taking leadership roles, gotcha. learning how to run a squad on the field. All in all, get out there, try to devise something and act. Yeah. You know? <laughs> how long have you been doing this now? Uh, about eight years now, yeah. Holy I've been doing shit. this for a pretty long time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been all over the place. And where's your name again? Orlando. Jesus, man. Uh, pleasure, pleasure, shit, pleasure. Man. pleasure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm the general field captain of Gladiator, so. Oh, yeah? Because uh, that's always cool to talk about it, but once yeah. you're in it, that's when you're like, oh, okay, now I'm in. Now yeah, I'm in yeah. it. Now, like, there's no holding me back now. Exactly. <laughs> videos of, like, what is the world? The war, war, war? Battle of Nations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't fought on that scale yet, but. I fought at the Arnold Classic, the Arnold Schwarzenegger they Sports do that Festival. In the Arnold? Yep. We were one Gladiators NYC was one of eight teams I was invited to come fight. Holy and I won my pole arm duel at that fight, putting us over the tiebreaker for our for our classification range. Wow. That was a hell of a fight. That video's on my Instagram there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do I I have a fitness channel, mm -hmm. but then once I found out this was like a whole sport, I was like, yeah, I gotta get my footage. Yeah, you got it, man. Hey. Glad to have you here. Yeah, man. Great to meet you, Jesus. Thanks. Now shit is about to get intense. You got, oh shit, there's five on this side, and only three? Is it three versus five? Oh, Four okay. versus five. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So he's the originator of this whole thing, but. All right, so yeah, so even women are part of this. So all inclusive, man. Four versus five, let's see what happens.
Alright, well there you guys have it. An intense day of fighting, group fighting, one-on-one -on -one fighting. You got some music, some bagpipe action. Um, if you like this content, as you can see, no one video is the same as the next. Make sure you like, comment, and as always, subscribe. I'm sitting with Damien of Gladiator NYC. First things first, how did you start this? Uh, you know, I used to do a lot of martial arts. This is about 10 years ago that I found the sport in New York. And it was, uh, I was doing a lot of martial arts outside of this, extreme sports. I was an ultra runner, I was doing capoeira, I was doing uh, Krav Maga, all these kinds of things. And then um, I came, someone invited me to some kind of sword fighting practice. And at that practice, it wasn't this, it was something else. I heard about this sport and I was like, what, this exists? It was like full steel, full contact MMA, national team, all those kinds of stuff at the time is what it looked like, and, and, uh, and team fighting. And I was like, this exists? I'm there. And I had all my armor custom made and I've been doing it ever since. So what would you call the sport exactly? Sure, so internationally they refer to it as bull hurt, boo hurt, uh, boo hurt, boo okay. hurt kind of thing. Uh, uh, domestically, they oftentimes refer to it as armored combat. So I firsthand got to, to witness one of your epic events. And the first question I had to ask is, has anyone ever gotten hurt uh, doing this? All the time. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's the, what's the level of injuries we're talking here? Uh, so, I mean, you know, from, you know, broken fingers and stuff to like wow. cracked skulls to broken ribs to oh, you know people spitting out teeth and all that kind of stuff but I mean like injuries like if you think about it like think about how bad people get injured skiing yeah, yeah, our thing yeah. looks dangerous and it is a bit dangerous but yeah no we've uh, seen every kind of injury a lot of like grappling and football -y kind of things like ACL tears gotcha, you know, gotcha. I just dislocated my elbow a couple months ago I just got an MRI today actually to wow. see what was going on I had like a bone shard in my elbow or something like that <laughs> yeah. what? You guys cannot be confused. These guys are going at it. And let me not even say guys, because there was women in armor that day, like. Fighting the guys. Fighting the guys. I just, I've never seen that in real life. Mm. And it's even more intense than some of the battle scenes that I've seen in some of the most like epic medieval movies and shows. I personally, as a trainer and as having a fitness channel, I'm more curious about the, the fitness behind what you do. So we've already seen what some of you guys have done in the event. What do you say that we get like a first hand like look so I can get an actual feel of what it's like to be put through one of these uh, one, Absolutely. Through the, one of these events. After you, you, you want to go you want to fight in armor, right? Um, if we could, that's, just so I could get the experience and, and give these guys yeah. um, uh, a first hand. I already got it waiting for you downstairs. All right, so let's uh, wrap this up and wish me luck, guys. <laughs> so, so this is uh, a Gambazin. Yeah, right? Gambazin. Gambazin. I need to get me a Gucci Gambazin, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, listen, this is intense. I put the helmet on and I felt like so claustrophobic. I'm gonna try to stick it out, but it's intense. Even just putting the helmet on, you feel like closed in. You try to breathe, wish me luck.
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh. A little bit tough, huh? <laughs> Any words? <laughs> so how do you feel after that fight? Good. Uh, good. Yeah, it's nice. It's good that he's so aggressive. A lot of guys are timid, but he's really aggressive. Mm. He wants to get in there and get stuck in, which is good. <laughs> You're doing good though. You did better than you I, thought you would, right? I tried. You're doing good. Yeah, it seemed like you weren't going to be able to breathe in the helmet, but you did it. Yeah. You fought and pushed back. I tried to compose myself. Yeah. You took a bunch of hits. Yeah. This was my my valiant opponent. He took it very easy on me. I'm grateful. Thank you. How, how long have you been doing this now? I've been doing it for two years now. Two years. So he's he's experienced. He's I started right before the pandemic, basically. I, I'm looking forward to seeing you compete. What, you're going to compete in the September one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be there. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate Hope you. Hope you had a good time. I just want to thank everybody that was involved in this video. I want to thank Damien. I really want to encourage you guys to go and support Gladiators NYC, whether that's following them on Instagram, going to one of their events, volunteering, whatever it is. And if there's anything that you want to do in this life, I encourage you to adopt my philosophy for your insecurities and should never let the judgment of others or the fear of what other people might think stop you from doing something that could very well be a life-changing experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, until we die, your insecurities. Peace.